You guys ready for a short video with an abrupt ending? It's 8 a.m., I am deliriously sick and have been for days, so let's get this over with. If you don't want spoilers for Watchmen, go watch Nerd Writer or something. I think he put out a video recently. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. Watchmen doesn't care about you, and I no, 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 full screen this crap. I have a headache, and being assaulted by this white background turns the inside of my forehead into a pizza oven. Much better. All right. <clears throat> Watchmen doesn't care about you, and it's the most refreshing part of the show. These are alien squids falling from the sky. These are babies in a lobster trap. This is Lube Man, destroyer of firm grips. This is a UFO. These are clones. This man is wearing Alex Jones' newest line of chic tinfoil. This is a white child with a black mother. What three things are shared between all of these? Thing 1. They are a giant middle finger to you because Thing B. They are not explained at all when first introduced due to the fact that Thing Dog. The show doesn't care about making you feel comfortable. The show looks dead into our eyes and says, you'll take what we give you and you'll like it. Watchmen very well might be the ballsiest show I have seen in a long time. I know I kinda just went over exposition in my last video, which none of you people watched, but Watchmen is such a good show that I'm just gonna talk about it again, so screw it. So many television shows, movies, books, and video games are obsessed with acting like drug-addicted door-to-door evangelists, except instead of a crack pipe, they get their fix from info dumping. Oh, why, hello there Mr. Audience and Mrs. Consumer. Do you have any spare time to listen to this small Bible's worth of backstory that I keep on hand? No? You really just trying to pay attention to the story and the characters? Wow, I've heard that a lot today, actually. Well, I guess I'll just tell you the same thing I told everyone else. Drink, bleach, and die. Here I go anyway. Long ago, when time was new, and all of history was still a dream, the gods ruled the Earth. Everyone Zeus. knows the Kill Belmonts him. dealt in black magic. The Belmonts dealt with monsters. The Belmonts fought the Earth. 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 Like, holy mother of Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. I am 30 seconds into this film. Why is there already exposition? Black Panther is a 130 minute movie. Why am I already being lectured to? This current culture among narrative entertainment has literally crippled the collective audience's ability to be comfortable with plot-related ambiguity. We consumers as a whole are so used to being spoon-fed information that as soon as a show comes along that doesn't do that, we regard it as some type of remarkable phenomenon. And you know how I know this? If you Google Watchmen confusing, you will literally get write-up after write-up about how confusing the show is and how that is such a positive force. Why Watchmen is the best kind of confusing. Watchmen series premiere recap, exhilarating confusion. Watchmen Review, Episode 3 is confusing and transfixing. Ooh, but Savage Books, you're making a video about Watchmen's subtle approach to exposition, contributing to the very culture you are critiquing, you cross-eyed knuckle-dragging hypocrite. And you know what I say to that? You're right. And I'm angry that I have to make a video like this in the first place. I mean, of course, part of that rage is coming from the fact that I've coughed my lung into my gullet, but my point still stands. We as a consuming audience shouldn't be astounded or entranced when a piece of fiction presents itself to us without immediately spreading open its hind end to show it its most deep and intimate parts. The least a show could do before laying long, hard exposition across my face is take me out to a nice first act dinner. And the worst aspect about all this is that Watchmen isn't even all that confusing. People have become so pacified, sedate, and slack-jawed with modern storytelling that they can't tell the difference between the need for an explanation and the need for patience. All of the exhilarating confusion that Watchmen creates becomes crystal clear if you just wait a few episodes. The random and confusing mask that Looking Glass wears is explained in episode 5. 
The random and confusing white children of Angela Abar are explained in episode 2. The random and confusing UFO that appears in episode 2 is explained in episode 5. The random and confusing squids that fall from the sky in episode 1 are explained in detail in episode 5. Watchmen doesn't contradict itself or play with an unreliable narrator. There is no deep, unknown philosophical theme underpinning all of the actions of the characters. Movies like Mother or The Lighthouse, where you literally have to look up the meaning of the narrative after you leave the theater because the plot never makes it clear, are examples of actual confusing stories. They hide the truth and certainty specifically to evoke unsureness and unease from the audience. Watchmen isn't confusing, it's just well-paced and good, and sadly the vast majority of us aren't used to that. Sure, Watchmen is weird, I will never deny that. It's based off an Alan Moore IP, a man who looks like the filthy, unwashed love child of Hagrid, Charles Manson, and the word Grease. A man who calls himself, and I quote, Translucia Baboon. Alan Moore is weird, Watchmen is weird, but that doesn't make the show inherently confusing. Watchmen's lack of immediate forced explanations simply means it's more concerned with establishing itself and its reveals correctly than placating the desires of the lowest common denominator consumer base who start to have nervous shivers if their gaping mouths aren't instantly crammed full of learn words to quell even the most minute narrative ambiguity. <coughs> I'm gonna die. <clears throat> but this is not to say that if you find yourself confused by Watchmen that you are part of some grand storytelling problem. No one chooses to be confused by anything. All this means is that poor narratives have disserviced you for so long and so consistently that competency appears confusing. This is not a you problem. This is a writing problem. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. And do you know what the worst worst aspect of all this is? It's that the show's approach to exposition and backstory really should be the baseline, the industry standard, because if it was, we could exclusively focus on the parts of Watchmen that actually deserve real praise, like the great casting and acting, the use of camera work and transitionary shots, the standout dialogue, or the fact it is one of only a handful of entertainment options to show a successful, emotionally healthy, blended African-American and white family without needing to be in your face about it. The more movies and shows and games start allowing the audience to marinate in a little bit of ambiguity, the more comfortable audiences would become with waiting for answers to the burning questions of the narrative, therefore prompting Hollywood and the like to take more chances with the audience's ability to comprehend uncertainty instead of insulting our intelligence with pathetic exposition like this. This? This is worth... Five, six hundred credits. That's more than you said we'd need. To buy our way out of the control zone and off Corellia. Anyway, Watchmen good, bad storytelling bad. A new Bojack Horseman video will be out in like two weeks or something. Subscribe to Patreon, donate to YouTube. I'm sick and I'm done.